So, uh, Priya ma'am, I think what we yes, will sir. do, you yes, have sir. chapter 3 open with you in the book. One, what are you, uh, sir, sir, just somebody take over. Something happened here in the house. One minute, I'll just come back. So, Kanchan, so, so be chapter three ko khol ke rakhna. Okay, while I do, do the session using the map that I have created. You are not, uh, you are not going to share a screen? No, I'm going to share the screen of the map that I have created. वो हमें मैं वो हमें मैप से पढ़ाएंगे आप किताब को ओपन करके रखें ताकि दोनों को हम कोलैबोरेट करके काम बात कर सकें सर हमें है ना वो बुक सर जी दे दीजिए अभी मैंने इस सिस्टम पे से निकाल के ना अपने पास ओपन कर लिया है अरे भाई जब ये सॉफ्ट कॉपी ना सबको Yeah, so let us start with this. See, this entire chapter talks about the objections to the law of thought in religions and accidents. Okay, so what is the objection to the law of thought which is defining the destiny both in religion and in accident. So he takes us through a journey. So we will understand fundamentally what is it that forms the basis of these objections. Okay. So what does he say? As far as the religion and thought is concerned, these objections right, is driven by Individual beliefs. Somewhere I created that. This the one? No. So they are driven by individual beliefs, law of thoughts and religion, right? Then law of thought and God. Why some people have got an objection is another uh, section that he says because of uh, their own uh, belief system not supporting either this or they don't understand what is being said, etc. That is uh, another category which is the uh, reason. And the last but not least is owing to the weakness, the selfishness and the force uh, that there is a force that is working against you. Okay. So let us see. When we say driven by individual beliefs, men have no choice is being created and uh, in being created and no choice concerning their destiny and that there is no more than one life on earth. This is one belief pattern in certain religions. Okay, now there is another belief that is driven by belief by virtue of our experiences. Experiences would show that justice is seldom meted out. 
and that there is a reward system and that the good often suffer, suffer misfortune and that the wicked often prosper. And based on our experience. The experience also happens to be that the rewards and afflictions generally come to mankind without wise dispensation. That means those who are not having the wise dispensation. The third category is the weak and poor are oppressed. These are all the basics that we have in terms of our independent experiences. Right? So, and then that the strong and rich can get with impunity what they want and that there is not an equal opportunity for all. The hope of eternal bliss in heaven and the fear of eternal suffering in hell as a reward or punishment for the acts of one, uh, of one short life on earth and based upon the mere acceptance or rejection of a doctrine tell the perception and stages, I mean, and staggers the understanding. Right? Now, predestination means that each doer is at birth arbitrarily created for good or for good or for bad or for ill. A vessel for shame or honor. Uh, that, that's what we believe the life is. The idea that, I mean, when believed without question, enslaves the believers. So what is it trying to convey here? Mishra, let us start with you. What is it trying to convey? Sir, he's trying to uh, um, show us the fact that whatever your experience as an individual you get hmm. that experience is driven by the force of that limiting belief what we have that the consequences are going to be in this manner. Ah, typically when we undergo an experience this is one of the expression that comes out and the basis of that expression happens to be driven by our belief system. Correct. That is supported by the experiences of the past. Correct. Okay, everyone clear on that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. very clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Chitra, you wanted to ask something? No, sir. Okay. Oh. Right? So, the first category of objection comes from our own belief system. Okay? And that is built upon, based on this one. And what happens to us is, when we start, uh, without questioning the status quo, we form those perceptions, then that becomes a wall that we construct right, around our experiences, our life and all that, right? Then, now, another factor mitigating against the acceptance or acceptance of the law of thought. What is the other factor? One is our belief. What is the other one? The other one is that there is also a belief in vicarious atonement. If individuals may be relieved of their consequences of their sins by the sacrifice of another, there is no reason for a belief in justice. Right? 
which means this is resulting in the hope of eternal bliss in heaven and all that. Why? The second one is I give a sacrifice and by virtue of the sacrifice, my thought is dissolved. Right? Like in Any the... Question? No, in the... In our system, they believe and say, okay, you uh, bali chadao, then you will have those sins get readed and all those ha, things. Ha, ha. That also boils down to the same consequence ki by heaven and hell. Correct. Where I am going to go with my Correct. limiting beliefs. Correct. And that, 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 I mean, you start trusting that. So, din mein ek hatya karo, shaam ko sacrifice do do. Correct. Right. So, that is the second form. Now, let us go further. Right? Now, let us now progress into the other part. What is this? So, now, consider those who believe in a God who at will dispenses blame or favor, raises or... That means there is a biased God. Or those who are satisfied with the explanation that every event is the will of God or ways of providence. Merely by holding such beliefs, they are unable to apprehend the laws of thought as destiny. So the, this is another one. Saying that, हम जो भी चाहेंगे वो तो होगा लेकिन जो भगवान है, he is very unfair. He will randomly give you credit and he will randomly take away credit and all that kind of a belief also is one of the inhibitors of believing in the law of thought as the destiny. Yahat the call of us are on the same page. G. Okay. Now, right? Let us go to okay. The other thing is there are many gods. We believe in a number of different gods who will grant their wishes and condone their sins if propitiated by offering a supplication. Very similar to this. Here we say we are random. And another belief is that I do sacrifice, I will get back. Now here we are saying that we satisfy the God. Such people believe that they have such a God and will not want a law to which they cannot appeal for their selfish ends and get a desired response and get a yeah and get a desired response right so those gods whom they cannot appeal to and get a desired response happens to be one more bottleneck in our trusting that law of thought defines the destiny. These are all pertaining to the role of the religion and our experiences. Okay? With me? Yeah. Yes. Minaji. Ji, ji, ji. So, uh, I mean, I understand, Jesse, Amisha, you know, ki bali chadate and all that. But then if you take it further, right, uh, when we say, okay, aap ek paisa doge wo das lakh dega, so donate, so you get more from God. So then uh, when we are donating, expecting more from God, or even when we are like, you know, uh, we, now my mom was sick, so I said, I'll do 16 uh, Mondays fasting. I mean, that's all kind of the same, right? Correct. They are all the same because... You believe in it, right? So you do not 
subscribe to the idea that your thought is the one that is defining the destiny. So it is means you are doing a business deal with your uh, this thing. You know, if you do this, and we are thing. not able to hear you. Your speaker is very far away from you. Your mic, not speaker. Sorry. So what I understand, you are doing a deal. Uh, you know, business dealing with the God or business deal. Okay, like uh, okay. No, no, you that. believe that trying to give him something will he will take care. Of. Actually, if you read Fakir, yes, right? yes, that is what I coming from. Correct. <clears throat> now, in Fakir, he says that when it comes to believe in God, there are three categories. Yeah. First, first two are extremely transactional in nature. One, I am doing the prayer to my God every day. He will take care of me and give me what I want. First one. Second one, ये भगवान मैं तेरे को ये दूंगा तू मेरे लिए ये कर देना वो हो गया ट्रांजैक्शन राइट दैट विल आल्सो नॉट वर्क द थर्ड वन इज ओ माय लॉर्ड और माय गुरु यू नो व्हाट इज द बेस्ट फॉर मी व्हाटएवर यू गिव मी इज व्हाट आई विल एक्सेप्ट नाउ व्हेयर डज योर दिस वन फॉल it falls in between these but not aligned to this right so that will not work because whether someone is well someone is ill etc that progression in this life will be as per their life plan what is it that now we get attached to them we get attached to them when we get attached to them right we start feeling what they feel and we will also come to the conclusion saying that god is very unfair etc that is what he is also trying to point out that becomes an inhibitor to the law of thought as destination are you with me mina ji yes yes sorry i couldn't right. unmute myself no no that's okay all right so basically these become the inhibitors now let us go further and see what so so i have a question sir yes. then how do we treat the big time philanthropic activities the big uh, corporates are doing how do you treat that how do you treat that me matlab they, they are say, just I trying mean, to take the tax break they are taking a tax break but mr ji one thing hmm. are you doing with the hope that you will get a return if you are doing it that way then it is not philanthropy it is business right there are only two things it is business or it is not business correct right so that expectation is not going to be and if something doesn't happen then what will you say correct you will say one of the three things right what fakir said obviously so that is not part of this whatever comes i am i am earning so much from this society i am from this society i want to give it back to this society in this form correct right that if that is the for example we hear so many people doing so much of uh, uh, philanthropy etc correct okay Prem ji has been doing philanthropy right from day one in his business. Correct. So much so that fifteen thousand crores he has set aside only for education in the rural segment. Not many people know about it. 
15,000 crores. Correct. Not from the company's wealth, from his personal wealth. Mm. Right. So that is philanthropy because he is now he has not even made any noise about it. I got to know because one of my friends and my seniors was till recently associated with that initiative. Mm -hmm. Correct. Hmm. So, so I mean that is philanthropy, right? Right, sir. So, so that, and he never bothered about tax. He would pay every rupee, he would pay as tax. Like that, there are so many entities which have been doing it, but some have been making noise, some have not been making noise. And that is service. But what he is talking about is in terms of the objection to that God. Right. Okay. So <clears throat> they feel that they can approach a God, but they want a God who will listen to them based on. <clears throat> so, from a religious perspective, these are the ones that get influenced. Are you all with me? Then we will go into yes. the definition of God from the law of thought perspective. So, what is the CSR activity of uh, uh, company? Pardon? Why same cheese? Eh? Agar it's coming very low content. Agar wapas benefit lene ke liye koi CSR kar raha hai ya philanthropy kar raha hai. CSR so tax bachane ke liye kar raha hai. That's all. Agar CSR is a really genuine reason. Correct. Oh, tax bachane ke liye kar rahe hai. Kuch, uh, what has the government done? They are forcing these people. If you don't do it, you have to pay the tax. Otherwise, if you do this, you don't have to pay the tax. So they want to get a goodwill by taking that path. But actually, it is not philanthropy. Or tax shield ko nikal do wahan se dekhte hain kitna karte hain yeah exactly <laughs> but sir wo kar to diya na like even if it is for saving tax wo nahi but, kiya unko to fayda but transactional ho gaya na wo we are talking about the spiritual part of that initiative what about your intention yes. I am uh, I am not able to hear one word. You are very far from your speaker. Sir, headphone laga liya maine. Laga liya, to bhi aap kawaz itna kam kyu aa raha hai? Maine maine kam karke rakha. Aap kam karke rakha to humko suna hi nahi dega. Now you can hear me. Can you hear me now? Abhi bhi. Thoda sa to better. Abhi dhoor hai na? Hmm. Abhi bhi dhoor hai. I need to uh, log in from this other system then when I have to speak then. Ah. Please do that. 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 Please can log out of this. Okay. So now we are talking about law of thought is the basis of a modern law. No religion can dispense with the law of thought as no religion is without a moral law. So now, when it comes to introducing the concept of thought, what is he saying? There is something known as moral code of conduct, right? As a human being, there is what we call a moral code of conduct. And no religion can say that there is no morality or morality is independent of religion because that becomes the basis of which a religion is built. 
Okay. So now what is he saying that? He's saying as follows. No religion. Yeah. So it must be in every religious system, the moral, right? Law of thought, which is equal to moral law and weaved into the fabric of every, of every religion in the form of, in one form or the other. Interestingly, you know, we could observe that in most religions, the moral aspects of every religion are shared in some degree. Thus, the identity of all religions at the fundamental level has its moral codes as the bond between the religious and the practitioners of the religion. Very clear, right? I don't think there is anything to dispute there. Is there? Right. Because all of them, they share this moral code. There may be a little bit of difference here and there. Right? But the theme, those who follow the solar calendar and those who follow the lunar calendar, even they have the same practices. Only thing is the way they implement them, etc. That is what he's trying to say. So now, let us understand God from that perspective. Okay. Right. So now, the administration of this moral law in each religion, the administration of the moral law is in the hands of a particular God associated with that religion. Right? And his power is to, uh, be believed to be so great that he is not bound by it, but above it. See, here, when we said law of thought, and law of thought is the one that is going to frame the administration of the universe itself, correct? It is with me. Yeah. Law of thought Jesus. is Jesus. the one that is defined. Your uh, headphone set is not okay, man. Your mic, something is wrong. Maybe you are speaking with the computer mic instead of having shifted it to your headphone mic. Just check that. Okay. And now, what is actually happening? Uh, that was it. Sorry. I lost my track. Anyone can help me? What was my last sentence? Yeah. So this we generally believe, yeah. So when we were Reading the earlier chapters, chapter 2, since the purpose of the universe and the plan of the universe is achieved through the law of destiny, which is nothing but the law of thought. The collective thoughts of all the people involved frames the guidelines within which the realm of permanence has to administer the entire universe. Anyone remembers that? Sir, I'm kuch aur jage pe the. I think you were talking about some, uh, you're talking about the gods. Uh, ah, no, no, gods. That's what I'm saying. See, here, see how that particular principle is being interpreted. In the religious mode, when we say every religion has got one god. Correct. And some religions may have multiple gods. And we start considering that that god is omnipotent and way above any of the laws of destiny. Mm. Whereas the universe administration follows the system of the collective thoughts of all the beings. You remember that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But it is our 
thoughts which define the destiny in practice. Correct. Correct. So if that is the case, then this becomes one limiting factor. My God is way above law. No, he is not. But in each religion, the administration of the moral law is handed over. Right? Hence, the belief in the will of God and the ways of providence is the result of such a belief. Similarly, among some people, there exists a doubt regards the management of that God, resulting in eventually in a belief of blind force and chance. So I start instilling the fear of God. First of all, who is God? We forget that it is the entity living inside us. It is the entity like us which is administering the universe. Correct? All with me? Right, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, having that understanding is very important. Now, let us proceed further. Another reason why some people may not wish to accept the law of thought as destiny as they do not understand it. That is the last category. They don't understand the, what is meant by that. They do not understand the system of the universe, know nothing of the nature of the gods. In creating, maintaining and changing the physical world, what is their action? They do not know anything of the parts which the gods play, which roles they play. They know little about the nature of the doer and its connection with the gods. The failure of people to grasp these points is due to the absence of a standard measure by which we can estimate the nature and the relationship of, of all matter and beings in the invisible worlds and their planes and on their visible physical planes. So there is so much of ambiguity in this visibility, etc., that people are not able to follow and decipher what is being said. So on one side, ignorance is bliss. On the other side, ignorance is the reason for the belief. Okay, Anna? No, no. The... With me. Right? All of you are on the same page, right? Yes. Why we do not yes, sir. acknowledge that law of thought is the basis of the destiny. So this is the religious aspect which is coming in the way. Now, there is yet another important thing. See, this absence of measures, we said, right? The absence of measures leads to a weakness. In what? Owing to this weakness and selfishness, man accepts the force as that measure. That, that force becomes the moral code. Right? Which is practically might is right, where man sees in his God a magnificent being, a, a, an omnipotent being. Thus, he is prevented from seeing a system of thinking without which he cannot have a key to the mysteries of the visible plane. Right? Any question in this para? Abhi hum log sare obstructions ko hi pad rahe hai, correct na, sir? Ha, ha. I am going, I have, I have actually dissected the entire chapter into multiple areas. So currently it is only the objections and the uh, Correct. beliefs, now, limiting in the beliefs. Objections, in the objections, the cause of uh, objections by virtue of 
ignorance. But that ignorance okay. ultimately makes you weak. Hmm. It makes you weak because you don't know how to measure them. You do not understand the basic concepts of how the universe works. Hmm. Right? So that is yielding you to the domain of a weakness, which becomes a limiting factor. And that weakness is actually driving the, the belief that might is right. My Bhagawan yeah. is right. Your Bhagawan is nowhere. My Bhagawan is right. Right? Correct. Mm -hmm. But, however, mm -hmm. we may observe that. Yeah, someone said something? No, no, sir. No, no. Oh, yeah. So, but if this is what it is, because he doesn't understand this, on the other side, he is exposed to, right? No religion can dispense with the law of thought as destiny because the theological doctrines, the meaning of theological doctrines is the study of nature of God and religious belief are often incompatible with it. Because law of destiny is counterproductive to the religious belief. Are you able to follow that? Correct. Or related to that? Law of destiny is counterproductive to the religious belief. Religion. See, what has happened is right. religious belief, if I say, first of all, you are uh, working from a weak domain with limited understanding. Hmm. But on the other side, morality has to be there. The, law, the, the moral practices cannot be done away from any religion. Correct, correct, correct. Hmm. Are you following that or uh, is there any confusion? No, sir. Religious belief. Sir, I have a little doubt. Uh, Hold on. Uh, sir, uh, I was watching that video which even you had shared, so Shen Dagaji ka hai with Patri ji about uh, thinking and destiny. is talking about thinking and destiny. He says that, uh, like, see, we have read that uh, jab uh, star to our souls, um, when it came down, it was because of the great fall, maybe, or the Adam Eve story, ya Vishwamitra ki ab bata rahe the, because of that. But no, uh, we have also read so many places point. that the soul just comes for progression. No, no, I never said that Vishwamitra ji ke karan What I said was. Because the no, body, no. the balanced yeah. body struck an imbalance. Yes, that the imbalance, body, because that of the imbalance. It has we become imbalanced, it. so it has to be cleansed for you yes. to go back. Yeah, okay. so wo religion maybe ye bolte na, like we come down here as a punishment or something like that. So but the body is not punishment. See, hmm. that is what I'm saying. Religious belief doesn't subscribe to that. Exactly, abhi wohi keh rahe aap. So that's the exact example. Ki Correct. The religious Perfect belief, example. Diverse, yeah, religious beliefs are completely different from the law of destiny. Because you are made to believe yes. certain things. Yes, sir. Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, sir. I'm listening. Yes, sir. No, no, not listening. Are you following? Yes, sir. I'm following. That's what I'm trying. I was also trying to correlate. Now, if Christianity also says a similar thing that Adam and Eve, like they sinned, and that is why they were banished from heaven to come down. That, they so, needed to explain a concept. Yes. We took it as gospel truth. Mm -hmm. See what has happened. Yes, it was convenient sir. for some people to take that as a gospel truth instead of a concept. Yes, sir. Hmm. So, Patri sir understand... also uh, mentions triune self. Which the triune self now? as baby god. 
Ba- he also mentions that the uh, triune self is uh, baby soul. No. He said that in that video. No, then, then, then it is not Christ. correct. It is limited. I, it is limited. Probably in the crowd that he was talking, it was like that. See, the entire uh-huh. context we don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe. Triune self, triune self is a perfectly balanced entity. And after you have passed, passed through all the cleansing yes. only, you go and reach the state of a triune self. So how can it be a baby yes, soul? Sir. Yeah. Ah, it cannot be a baby soul by that definition. Probably if you hear the truth, somewhere you might be missing something. Okay. So See, do I understand this way? Earth, probably what he meant is When the triune self ka doer jab arth mein aata hai, he starts off as a baby haan, soul. Haan, haan. Yeah. Say, Actually, Shayan Dagadi says, what is the triune self? Maybe he hasn't read the book. So he says, that's the baby soul. So this haan. was his answer to him. Yeah, Achai, you are talking about Shreyan's Dagadi, is there? No, no, no. I don't yeah, think yeah, he has yeah. read the book. This book is not an easy read for anyone, including all of us. Yeah. Uh, he had not read about it this is what he said in the video that i am not aware of this so he said what is this try on self i'm hearing it for the first time so patri ji says baby soul maybe he so, means so, so, the part of the bola bola which comes initially is the, the beginning and so the first more thing he said is to be a baby soul in yes fact, ऑफ़ साई सचरित्र his verse yes, right in which he writes because he channels yes. shri sai rusbe barucha is a channel for shri sai okay okay he says let us han ji sir i'll i'll try and okay ha then i see si, you listen to his uh, lectures he has got a se- separate one on shri sai of 136 episodes which is uh, there in okay, youtube sir. also right so can you repeat he the name sai uh, vannas sabka malik hai okay theek hai sir i'll follow okay. that see yeah. in that he explains he says you are talking about all this fine right mhm how did this all start so there yeah. he explains there he explains See, in okay. the very first line, okay, right? There was no karma. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. There was no karma. Yeah. No baggage. Yeah. So everything was yes, free. Sir. In the yes, first sir. round, your first initial mm-hmm. life, it was hundred percent free will. Mm-hmm. But yes, using sir. that free will, you start committing your mistakes. the karmas yeah yeah right now karmas are while yes. cooking food also you people perform lot of karmas because mm-hmm. there are many invisible insects that die when you are preparing the food okay okay so who is so okay say okay okay how come that that is one side of this one now there is a thought involved in this on both the sides you are not aware but mm. on the other side the okay. is aware of the uh, that virus or that germ it is aware that its survival is being uh-huh. killed ha ha acha okay so wahan ka thought se bhi aapko karmic impact rahega iske liye right, sir. your religious belief you compensate by feeding the poor yes. or doing some of these things oh okay 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 
That is how you balance it out, is what he explains. Okay. Oh, so nice, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So now, thank you, sir. Saying, right? These doctrines make it appear in strange disguises, stories, and teachings that conceal the law. They conceal the law, but the essence is conveyed to you. Right? These are forms used by triune selves to teach their doers as much of the law of thought as the doers can acquire. So, even the morals that are built, the morals that are built into the religious practices are interwoven into the doctrines of those theological enunciations that guide our life and what he says is these guidances are actually the triune self letting you people work on them and experience them and create your own model of as much wisdom that can be acquired out of it. Dependent upon your ability to decipher, understand, practice, and deduce. Correct. Uh -huh. Right. So now what is he saying? The faith which holds to ways of providence, the wrath of God, the original sin, to mention but a few. Even as the scepticism which speaks of mere chance and accident is a station through which the doer passes while it is being educated by the light of the intelligence. Now, when you accident or terms use karte ho, even that is a phase of education only. Thus, the law of thought as destiny works in silence and is unseen. Its force is not perceptible by the senses. Even its results on the physical plane attract the attention, attract no attention unless they are unusual or unexpected. So that means to that extent, the law of thought as a destiny which people experience but they are not able to see or perceive them. Which is true, right? When we start thinking under the control of our senses, if something happens, we either call it an accident or we call it a chance, right? Correct. Yes or no? Jesus, Jesus. जिसको क्वेश्चन पूछना होता है वो पूछ लेते हैं बाकी तो मैं हाँ बोल रहा हूँ on the physical plane, attract no attention. That means its course that is being taken because it is not perceptible by senses, you don't know that it is happening. So people call these accidents and are attributed to chance, miracles, or the will of God. And religion often seek, a, seek an explanation, right? 
सो एज ए जनरल पर्सन उसको पता नहीं होगा लॉ ऑफ डेस्टिनी क्या है करेक्ट नहीं ऐसा है He may know that it is destiny. But sir, वो तो destiny को accident मानेगा ना नहीं नहीं सुनिए तो सही बट ही डो दी समथिंग दट ही हाँ दैट इज वाई ही कॉल्स इट चांस ही कॉल्स इट एक्सीडेंट एंड सो ऑन ही कॉल्स इट बाई वेरियस नेम्स एंड रिलीजियन Will continue to exploit the situation. Correct. That is what he is trying to say. No, I mean uh, what I am trying to understand is this. का मतलब general public को law of destiny है क्या किसी को नहीं पता होगा इसका unless they go into the depth of this. Because it is not obviously. General public is living under the influence of his senses. And in fact, uh, influence of the religion and nature god. Right. Whereas it is the influence of religion, Bolero. But in reality, what is that? It needs to be understood that religion is the relation between the doers and the gods. They have fashioned out of nature. Yeah, God ne kisko kisne banaya God ko? Hami log ne banaya. Religion. Ah, kaise banaya? आप अपना प्राण प्रतिष्ठित करके भगवान को बनाया ठीक <laughs> है ना करेक्ट <laughs> नेचर से बनाया है नॉट थॉट अलोन थॉट इंफ्लुएंसिंग द नेचर एंड देन गिविंग इट अ शेप एंड अ कैरेक्टर दैट इज द प्राण प्रतिष्ठित दैट राइट सो नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड अ लिटिल बिट ठीक है ना समटाइम्स स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ द लॉ ऑफ थॉट तो सॉरी ये मिस कर दिया क्या नहीं ये कर लिया ना नहीं 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 ये नहीं किया सॉरी 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 हाँ नेचर में सिर्फ भगवान को बना दिया है राइट इट्स कोर्स इज नॉट परसेप्टेबल बाय द सेंसेस इवन द रिजल्ट्स ऑन द फिजिकल प्लेन तो ये सब अगर है तो रिपीटिंग देम सम पर्सन कॉल दिज एक्सीडेंट एट्रीब्यूटेबल टू चांस एंड ऑल दैट करेक्ट नाउ राइट द गॉड्स और द गॉड्स विच मैन वर्शिप आर नेचर गॉड्स द फैक्ट इज अपेरेंट फ्रॉम द सिंबल्स बाय विच वी डिमांड टू बी अडोन दे डिमांड टू बी अडोन आपने बनाया भगवान को ठीक है ना जी तो ये जिस तरह से आप इसको वर्शिप करोगे वो भी आपका क्रिएटेड मेथोडोलॉजी है उसको सिंबल्स देते हैं उसको किस तरह से रिकग्निशन देना है वो भी आप डिसाइड करते हो राइट सो Correct. These nature gods, however, are subject to complete triune selves. They are created by the embodied doers of the triune selves. Because now the, the, the triune self is involved in this creation because, right? That is the easiest way that the triune self gets involved in the progression of human being. Triune selves furnish. to the embodied portions of the doers the means of accomplishing the worship due to and even the worship demanded by the nature gods kya samjhe kya samjhe ये लास्ट वाला लाइन समझ नहीं आया दोनों बार जो बनाएगा वे टू इवॉल्व करेक्ट कुछ तो बिलीव रख के कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं हम लोग ठीक है 
So they are involved and they are the ones who are letting us create all that because we need to get educated. Correct. Correct. Now, in that education, we have created a methodology by which we start yielding to, based on whatever we feel, the triune self furnished to the embodied portions of their doers, that means of the means of accomplishing the worship. That worship due to and even the worship demanded by the nature. Thus, the doer in the human body is allowed to consider a personal God as its creator and source of power as well as the administrator of justice according to a moral code. When the nature of God is right? Kya worship, kaisa worship and all that based on the enlightenment of the person who is slightly evolved. He is defining that methodology, correct? Correct, correct. It is not something that has descended on us, but based on the extent to which we are able to see, we have defined it. What have we defined? We have defined what that worship should be, how that worship should be, and we have called it as demanded by the nature gods that have been created by us. So, sir, these three uh, sacred kitab hai apne, ya char, panch, asare religions ke apne apne sacred kitab hote hai. What Haan. do you see about, say about that then? See, they have been created by whom? People like us. People who have like been us. highly evolved. But maybe they are much more evolved. They are the ones who are that... the ones, you see, they are the ones who have drafted, and for us, they have become the triune selves. So that means those books, whatever is written in that, are the forms of ways of worship for us. Correct. And he has also told you this. See, when he talks about this in the beginning, he also talks about the Patanjali Yoga Sutras that you are reading today. Mm -hmm. are not the original. They are also convoluted for some reason. And he explains that saying that, see, it is not depicting the entire essence of what was created, maybe because of the laws of the land at that time, or the seat of the religion, which was at that time not permitting disclosure of the whole thing. And we can relate it to why was Jesus killed? Patani. Jesus was killed because he spoke about a God. And in those days, God, the king was the God, not, not any other. So, in other words, they spoke, he spoke about or against the ruler or the power of that land. Then, hmm. how many of the, in the uh, what do you call, uh, knowledge elements have been suppressed by the churches? Hmm. Correct. Right? Nee, so all these sir, kind apna... of scenarios cut short the content that could have been disclosed to the individuals. To create the environment. Correct. Right? So that interpretation to sir, for a long time we all believed that Taj Mahal was built by Shah Jahan. Hmm. Correct? Ji. 
Did you know that Ram Mandir existed below the Babri Masjid? No, no. sir. Right? So, वो सब अभी बाहर निकल रहे हैं ना एक-एक करके. Hmm. Right? So. The Taj Mahal की क्या mystery है? No, Taj Mahal का mystery नहीं है. We believe that it was built by Shah Jahan. Actually, it was built by one of the Rajput yeah. kings in those days. One of the Rajput kings. Okay. Okay. Right. But that whole thing has not yet come out, so it is not being discussed openly. Right. We all believed that uh, Kashmir was not part of India. Hmm. All those things are slowly coming out. Right. मतलब वहां पे तो उनकी वो है उनकी टूम्स हैं मतलब दे वर बारेड देयर आई बिलीव ताजमहल में सी व्हेन आई एम इन पावर आई कैन डू एनीथिंग राइट या हां आई कैन लूट व्हाट एवर वाज देयर एंड कन्वर्ट इट टू माय टूम ओके ओके राइट सो देयर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर व्हाट एवर रीजन the entire truth was not allowed to come out that is what he is trying to say right now in order to keep the propaganda jhoot hum log bhi bolte hai na bachcho ko kuch bol diya to usko protect karne ke liye aur do jhoot bol do right yes so sir so consider a personal so all the the does the doer in the human body it is not the triune self which has written it but all those have been written by a doer in the human body who has been allowed to consider a personal god as its as its creator and source of power that is what all these books talk about right what do these books talk about correct okay. so now based on that right as well as the administrator of justice according to a moral code moral code which is now integrated into the practices and the doctrines of that religion in so far as the god's acts of omissions that do not fall in with the moral code attributed to god so <clears throat> those that are not aligned they say god has asked it to be done like this the doer believes in the inscrutable impossible to understand or interpret ways of providence right because of this moral code that has got created yeah he he blindly believes in those inscrutable that those cannot be interpreted as part of his practice that answers your question mr ji theek hai na ji 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 hmm right so now where yes, does it take us let us right so sometimes small parts of the law of thought are to be found in religion but so you are not sharing i'm not sharing i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm very sorry right हाँ ये पूरा हो गया ना ये नीचे का ही बात है ओके सो नाउ राइट ठीक है नाउ सी व्हेन ही इज अलाउड टू डू इट राइट सो सम सम टाइम्स स्मॉल पार्ट्स ऑफ द लॉ ऑफ थॉट आर टू बी फाउंड इन ए रिलीजियन बट देन दे आर कलर्ड टू फिट इन With the body of the theology, 
ठीक है उधर भी एडजस्टमेंट कर दिया है मीनिंग रिलीजियस बिलीफ एंड थियरी वेन सिस्टमेटिकली डेवलप राइट इन क्रिस्टियन थियोलॉजी दैट इज द एग्जाम्पल राइट गॉड कम्स टू बी कंसीव एज फादर एंड सन सो ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ वॉट यू कॉल डॉक्ट्रिन्स हैव गॉट इंटेग्रेटेड वेन दी स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ लॉ आर फाउंड इन द रिलीजियन हवेवर when the doer matures significantly and is able to see that it is sense bound in a body which is personalized nature and in order to distinguish between the gods or god on the other hand and the light or light it receives from its intelligence so now what is he saying theek hai jo bhi doctrine mein aa gaya aa gaya hmm are you with me now consider this scenario that you have gone through various religious practices you have started understanding the entire theory and which means you are increasing your light of visibility in terms of the concepts correct correct ha huh. correct as you evolve you start seeing the gaps ha huh. jaise hum discuss kar rahe hain abhi huh. right you start seeing those gaps those small things that have got integrated right that is what is saying however when the doer matures significantly he and is able to see that it is sense bound in a body which is nothing but see after all what are the, your senses recall what he wrote senses are beings made of nature matter correct बॉडी याद आ रहा है वो सेंटेंस करेक्ट 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 आंख स्मेल नहीं कर सकता हाँ राइट so they have got each of them and all these beliefs are sense bound because aapko ek sort of fear ke andar lapet deta hai correct no i didn't get this sir sorry then nee. see how does any religious belief uh, get practice With the uh, moral code of conduct which is written. Ah, तो आप you will enter into this or that. आपको ये पाप लगेगा. Fear, fear. आपको ये हो जाएगा. आपको वो हो जाएगे. आप अंधे हो जाओगे. Right, right. right. So, आपको एक fear consciousness में लपेट देता है. Hmm. Okay. okay now when will you overcome the fear abhi wo rassi ka example socho rassi hai ya saap hai hmm when are you able to recognize it as uh, rassi and not saap knowledge knowledge or the light of the day light of intelligence right yes. or experience ha till then you are bound by that fear which is part of your senses but as you start increasing your light of intelligence right and gets the power to question correct so however when the doer matures significantly and is able to see that it is sense bound in a body 
which is personalized nature and in order to distinguish between the gods uh, on one hand and on the other hand the light it receives from its intelligence then by that light will the doer understand the innate idea of justice the real meanings of the wrath of god and of the doctrine of original sin tab samajh mein aata hai usko okay right let us now also look into one or two more important entities how do we look at or how do we react when something goes wrong right accidents and chance are words used by persons who do not think clearly when they attempt to account for certain happenings will you all agree to that ji yes sir yes sir i will only attribute when i can understand something comprehend something by means of my level of intelligence right okay anyone who thinks must be convinced that in a world as orderly as this there is no room for words like accidents and chance right actually there is no room every natural science depends upon the recurrence of certain facts in a certain order that that is true right okay and we say so, yes sir when for everything there is a certain facts and a certain reason and a certain order right there is no scope for anything to be called an accident or called a chance a physical law means facts observed and the assurance of their recurrence in order to in an orderly sequence that is what is meant by a law right it repeats at regular intervals the physical science ka jo jo bhi laws hai right such physical laws govern all physical actions i mean they are repeatable they are measurable oh the school mein padha tha na from showing from sowing to harvesting from boiling water to sailing a vessel from playing a fiddle to the electrical transmission of sound and images by radio right all these have got a particular pattern right that is what is a physical law okay let us see the moral side of it does a moral law exist do we have only physical law or do we also have moral laws does a moral law exist and if so what is that moral law in terms of a certain thing of the orderly sequence of facts so what is that because we only understand the physicality right are you with me Yes, sir. G G G, sir. So we start taking something physical and try to apply it to morality, a certainty of the orderly sequence of facts and events in the moral order, right? So we ask for this. There is such a law. There is such a law, and. it accounts for the so called accident everything existing on the physical plane is an exteriorization of a thought correct correct which must to be adjusted to the one who issued the thought in accordance with his that is the issuer's responsibility and at the conjunction of time condition and place okay are you with me 
जी सो so, अभी हमने थॉट जेनरेट किया जिसको हमें बैलेंस करना है नहीं नहीं अभी तक थॉट हम... का प्राइमरी ऑब्जेक्शन क्या है कहां से आता है करेक्ट थॉट का ऑब्जेक्शन जो भी सेक्शन वन है ना वी हैव कम टू द एंड ऑफ सेक्शन वन सेक्शन वन करेक्ट करेक्ट ओके टुमारो वी विल डू सेक्शन टू करेक्ट सेक्शन टू सेक्शन थ्री लंबा है फोर फाइव सिक्स छोटा है तो कल सेक्शन टू करेंगे हम लोग हाँ सेक्शन टू काफी डिटेल में है तो यहां तक सबको समझ में आया है इंक्लूडिंग स्वर्णा हु ज्वाइन लेट यस सर गायत्री मैम यस सर यस सर यस Because next class you will conduct for me. <laughs> sure, sir. <laughs> Chitra ma'am, Swarna ma'am, Nina ji, Kanchan, all of you have followed what we have gone through. Yes, my darling. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, Very sir. Good. I will listen to the audio again. But yeah, yeah. so far makes sense, sir. Thank you. Right.